Okay, I think I made a mistake at the little transitional moment into like the outro, but I gotta think about it. Okay, um, okay, so there's like, uh, there's a couple parts. There's verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Then it, there's the slow down part. And then, yeah, the, there's a little E chord moment going into the, the sort of outro, which is also in the slow tempo. Um, uh, okay, so starting with the verse, um, uh, two chords. This one, this is an A, right? So this is like A, it's like if you're playing an A bar chord, but you just play these three notes. So first finger on the fifth fret of the second string, second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then everything except the low E string. And what I was kind of doing is like, a little bit of like left hand muting, you know, it's basically just a down, 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 but you know, so kind of like low, low, high, low, low, high, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, high, low, high, just to get that like rhythmic accent pattern in there. She actually plays with her hand, with her fingers, but it's like, you know, so it's kind of like this style. I wasn't gonna try that, but it might sound even more authentic if you do it with your hand. I should say with your fingers, but it's, it's this style. In other words, it's not like finger picked. It's like strumming, strumming, picking with your fingers going down like that. But I'm using a pick, so I go uh, four measures, and then all you do is move your first finger. From the fifth fret on the from the fifth fret of the second string to the fifth fret on the fifth string. You're still not playing the sixth string, but now you have this chord. So now it's your first finger on the fifth fret of the uh, fifth string, your second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, and your third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And you strum everything, you know, everything except that low string. And that one's just for two measures. So it's a six measure phrase: four on this, two on this. Um, after doing that four times, the fourth time it stays on this. And then for two more measures, have the pinky come in and get the seventh fret on the uh, second string. And then it kind of goes up to the eighth fret on the second string. And I think she lets go of the rest of the chord and kind of just goes like this. So it's like, you know, two, two regular bars, then introduce the seventh fret of the B. And then going into the chorus, which is a C bar chord. You could play it like this way, or you could do this sort of double bar. First finger on the third fret of the fifth string, third finger barring the fourth, third, and second strings on the fifth fret. That's just two beats, up two, up two, up two frets to this one. Now this, it's a very related chord to this, but a little different, right? So now first finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string, uh, second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, uh, third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and pinky on the seventh fret of the fourth string. And that's from everything. And that's for four beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It does that four times, or no, three times, and then so this, and then this time instead of going up here, down to the same shape as here, but now down here at three, four, and five. And then it does that for four measures. Four bars before going back into the verse. So you can switch back from this to this. The second chorus, instead of going back into the verse, that starts to slow down. And then you get into the slow part. Back to this. Now you can kind of now again, she's like using her fingers, so she kind of like does something like that. There's a little melody you want to come out, which is like the G string and then the B string, and then that's a hammer on from five to seven on the second string. Hammer on and then back down, and then get the G string, that sixth fret, and then bend that note. It's a nice like, you know, like a long bend, so it's like two. It changes, by the way, into three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then that old friend, this chord. Four 
four bars of three, four. Two, three, four, two, three. I kind of pick up the other fingers when I do this one so that it can do it, you know? does that a couple times she sings over it then it does that transition that I think I did wrong where it goes to the A and now you're in the last section which there's a guitar there's a rhythm guitar that's doing like A G F sharp minor so you could just play that Eventually, it stays on the G a little bit longer. Four bars and ends on A. Whichever A you want to end on. And then there's a lead part, and I kind of tried to play them together, but if you play the lead, by, lead part by itself, it'd be like this. So this is six, five, six on the third string, down to four on the third string up to six on the third string, down to two, now up to four, but bend it, back to regular four, back to two. Six, five, six, four, six, two, four, four, two. I kind of tried to put them together by going like. That's an option if you're playing it by yourself. And she eventually then starts to sort of solo. Mostly in this pentatonic. I didn't obviously like learn the whole little solo, but 